Dow Jones Industrial Average up more than two points. Upward trend in corporate results, reaching an accelerated growth rate. 57.67. Price of shares eased 13 cents to spend by 10 percent for the first quarter of the year. Economic forecasts look to further advances in Corporate profits. Intel. Here's the plan, in a nutshell. We've already accrued close to $4 million for the plan. And in 1979 alone, the contribution could exceed $8 million. Higher Intel profits mean... Every penny contributed to the plan will be distributed to you, the eligible employee. The non-vested portion of those who leave Intel will be redistributed among the members of the plan. At retirement, your portion could be several times your annual earnings. The amount depends mainly upon Intel's profits, your time in the plan, and investment results. Plus, you may make voluntary contributions to the retirement fund. Remember these major points as the following program explains them in more detail. Policies, procedures, blah. Huh? Oh, well. The need for policies and procedures may not always be so obvious, yet they are essential tools in maintaining the success of a company's growth and in handling its business complexities. Policies define what is acceptable, and procedures are the steps that describe who has to do what to achieve these policies. If there are similar operations in various locations, Policies and procedures can assure consistency in decision-making. Policies and procedures establish a standardization and control for saving time and resources in frequently occurring activities. One way to ensure that decisions are consistent with corporate goals is to have the reference and communication tools available to employees. But all too often, the corporate book of policies and procedures is filled with long, drawn-out, and complicated explanations requiring study time. Mm -hmm. Policies and procedures should be simple and brief, listing only those that are necessary. Our plan is to have one system for users that is easy to refer to and easy to read. A message from Robert M. Penn, President, Gould AMI. You're seeing this tape today in conjunction with a quarterly company review because I personally wanted to take a few minutes to explain to each of you our current position and speak a bit about what the future holds for us at Gould AMI. I'm sure that you've noticed in the past few weeks that we put the brakes on some of our spending and hiring. These types of activities, when not properly explained, can cause concern about our overall position. I want to make a 